Hey everybody, and welcome back to Advanced Edition of Faster Than Light with me, GW365. It has been a little while since we've played, I'm finding it hard to remember what happened last time. I don't think we won. Um, I can't remember what ship it was we used. It might be in the Federation Cruiser. In fact, I'll be able to find out right about now. Just look at my uh, previous uh, videos on my phone. Let's bear with us one second. As we go through, and while I look, I'll just, just note that I have unlocked the B class and the C class with the Kestrel, uh, for the Kestrel off off camera, uh, basically. I think I unlocked um, the Federation one as well, if I go to the list. Go to B types. Yes, I unlocked the B class as well, uh, the B type for the Federation cruiser. So, yeah, so we're just going to take a moment here just to see what the last thing we were, what the last thing was that we used. It was a Zoltan cruiser, which is uh, what I was trying to do. I was trying to get to unlock the Mantis cruiser. Which unfortunately we can't do until we've done this. So we are going to stick to the Zoltan, the Adjudicator, uh, the Green Machine, as it, uh, if you will. I'm going to leave the name names as they are. Fish, Cussy, and Alex sound like uh, awesome names. So let's start. We are staying on normal. So as you're aware, we start with the uh, Zoltan Shield. We've got one bar shield underneath, Halber Beam, and Leto. Which we are going to power up the Halber Beam. We have to manage our. Uh, Oh, power rea reactor pow power reactor oh. <laughs> reactor power for our services thank you very much okay just do one then head up here we have got the Leto in support of the Halber Beam the Halber Beam obviously kicks ass we are going to explore the asteroid field and find us some nice scrap luscious scrap that we can spend on awesome stuff like upgrading shields and stuff right we are going to fight the ship the ship doesn't really scare me especially the fact that I've got a Halber Beam that cannot miss uh, can we do something like... Can we hit both of them? I don't think we can. Let's just go like this instead. I would like to hit the weapons, but... Alas, we can just make them surrender. That's a ton of missiles, not a lot of scrap. But for this early stage, I'm going to take that. Just because of the missiles, basically. Because there might be a chance of us... Uh, as if you miss us with 15% chance evasion chance. Um, yeah, we're going to keep, keep them because there's a chance we can sell rockets as well, missiles. We'll go back in the cells a little bit here. Explore as much as we can. We have got a missile launcher against us, but again, we have got the uh, Halber Beam of Destruction, so there's nothing really to worry about, Pat, especially if they can't get their hacking unit through. So we'll just wait now. Now they are going to get a couple of shots away, but our Zoltan Shield will help us. Our shields are actually down here, which is uh, kind of scary if they do get through. I'm quite confident that we're going to take out the weapons, the pilot system and the hacking. We've took out one of the weapons which is kind of scary. So we are going to have to focus on them them systems again. Because if they get through the next shield, which indeed they will, there it goes. Now we are struggling because they're going to send a hacking drone across. But a hacking unit is offline. So the laser is still up. How hard is that laser? It's going to hurt. Oh it missed. Good man. Well done, Mr. Drone. Auto hacker. Now you can say goodbye. Bye. A 13 stra scrap isn't uh, exactly ide and an ideal amount. It's, in fact, you could say it's an unlucky amount uh, of scrap to get. But we have got another auto hacker that's going to try and hack us. Fortunately, they are trying to get away. So we do need to take out the pilot system, which we will target straight away because they do have another missile launcher and a scary looking laser. Our shield is going to get penetrated like you wouldn't believe. One burst should do it. That's a missile. Oh no. First laser mark two. And the most, the, one of the better guns, uh, guns on this uh, game, in my opinion, because of the fact that they fire three lasers for two power. And that is hacking coming in on a shield, which is very, very, very scary. 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 We need to take down the weapons as soon as possible. Indeed we do, but the missile launcher comes up. No Zoltan shield. We are going to struggle. Leto, oh, one missile will come in. Guaranteed. Here it comes. And it would have to go on weapons. Right, Leto, get powered up. Of all the places, it has to go on weapons. So we're going to fire a missile to try and save us. Took some unnecessary damage there. You are joking. We have to fire another one. 
Boom! That's the end of them. Two missiles wasted. A little bit of hull damage for minimal scrap. But at least we've got the missiles back anyway. So at least that's something. So we'll knock off that. Get the halberd beam back up and running. Uh, might just take this second just to heal Alex. So why the hell not? Boo! This is a problem with the uh, Zoltans. The Zoltans don't have a lot of health, but also when they run through uh, other systems, they power them up briefly, but then just they leave power behind. So when you haven't got enough power, it messes up with your ship, which can be uh, a bit of a nuisance. So we'll head down here with our Halberd Beam of Injustice. Drone parts, we're not using them. Yes, we will sell three of them. And then we'll move across here. Try and make a go around in a bit of a circle and head for the distress beacon and then probably the exit. Uh, we'll try and communicate peacefully. We will get an NG for nothing. None of our t none of your attempts to c uh, I can't even read. None of your attempts to communicate seem to work. They just stare at you silently as you prepare to leave. One of the creatures canters forward and forcefully nudges you away from the ship. He seems to want you to follow him. Eventually, they guide you to an old NG ship's crash site. Inside, you are able to find it and reactivate, activate, uh, activate an NG. Malot, welcome aboard. You, my good sir, can go on. Shields? Which is most likely, I think. You could go on engines, I suppose. Not engines, on uh, weapons. Keep Make sure they're fixed. So that could just move you across if needs be. Uh, we will go to the distress beacon now. Let's see what's cooking. So a free, free crew member is always handy. Uh, we will lead them to their destination for 8 scrap. Very nice indeed. We can go to either there or there. In fact, I might be able to get get to two of them. So we'll try that. Just get as much scrap as possible, as, as I keep repeating myself. We are not going to pay no toll. Sonny Jim, you're going to have two beams, which means that you are deemed useless against us. So that our halber beam is going to tear, tear your ship apart again. Beam, beam will tear you apart again. There we go. That's boom, fair swoop. The ship is dead. Very nice indeed. We are going to have to go straight to the exit, unfortunately. Otherwise, we're going to encounter some unwanted um, attention, if you like. Uh, except the offer. No, it's terrible. And if it was the other way around, without doubt, without question, I would have been taking it. We're gonna, we are going to go into the next sector. Because we're not using. Well, we have got a missile launcher, but because we're not using the uh, missile launcher as of yet, because we're using the Hubble Beam primarily, we're going to go to the engine sector. So, any fear of defense drones will surely go away. Right, we are going to venture down here first, and we'll probably... Uh, I'm going to go to... No, the distress, distress beacon, I can't get anywhere else. I'm going to go down here, and then I'll probably go to the... To the straw? The star. Uh, two missiles for two drone parts? No. So yes, we'll go to the star instead. 98 scrap. Kind of wish I had more, but we could do a secondary weapon, but unfortunately, there's nothing really of note there. However, hmm, my control is very tempting. I do like my control. Get some fuel. I'll uh, leave the, the hull for the time being. And we shall go like this, I think. And then to the quest. I think second bar of shields is kind of important now. Breach missile. That's a very nice looking missile. It'll probably take the place of the Leto. And we've got two stars, which I. Well, we've got eight, another star, which I don't think I can actually get to. I can ignore the, uh, I'm going to go here for, uh, I'm going to go this way, I'm going to go to the quest, as opposed to the, uh, distress beacon. Uh, this is a problem. There we go. A load more scrap, we'll go to the star. Who knows, we might be able to sell some things, we do need some more reactor power though. They have, heavy laser mark one, fires one shot. Flak two is a must. Uh, flak one, sorry, is a must. But what do we sell instead? We've got the breach we can sell. Our Leto, which gets us to 56, which isn't enough. Wrong way around. That's a shame. A crying shame. I might have to actually sell the breach, which saddens me greatly. It's important for the late game, but we don't really need it. Uh, do we? No. It's going to use too much uh, thing. The flak, two power, we'll have you. We'll work on getting you, uh, like because it will knock down the shields, allowing the halberd beam to do its thing. Which is why the, the, the sole reason why I've bought that. Right, so we are going to move forward. Head for that quest. I 
do need more reactor power so we can get the mind control working. But we need someone in sensors, so it might be a bit of a waste. Not got a lot of fuel left, and maybe I should have bought some fuel since I was just at the store. But never mind. We've got the Zoltan shield still, so we should be okay. Uh, we'll just tear their ship apart a bit, like so. So we've got a two firing laser. Here comes a beam of injustice. Of justice, whatever you want to call it. There we go. Shield is still up. Should be able to survive another missile, which will probably undoubtedly come in. Here it comes. No shield defense, but their ship is dead, so it doesn't really matter. 26 scrap as well is not a bad return. Mind control, you're going to come on. We're going to head towards a quest. Explain that we're friendly. 27 scrap. Again. Pretty handy. I'm going to do that. Give us a bit more dodge chance. We will need it eventually. Here comes a quest. We do need shields. Uh, their ship doesn't really scare me. For the moment, I'm just going to get you on that. Although I don't really need to at the minute. Because I'm only using a beam. So, we will go like this. They use their beam. They're going to teleport us in a minute. Or are they? Yes, they probably are. Although they are repairing, so chances are they won't. Oh, yes, they are going to board us. And they're going to go to the shield room? Uh, the sensor's room, sorry. So, Mr. Sensor, man, or Sensor Attacker, you're going to get mauled in face in a minute. As your ship decides to surrender. We will not surrender, except surrender, because that is a terrible offer. All over they've only got a beam online, they can't do a thing to us. Yeah, you're going to be running low on oxygen in a minute. Where are you going to go? Oh, you're going to head into the empty area. Are you going to teleport back just in time to die? That seems like a, a decent plan. There we go. Let's get the oxygen back in. <coughs> Excuse me. Try and save up for, for the next bar of shields. More power, of course. That's a terrible offer again. Other way around, please. There's a store, but I don't think I can make it to the exit as well. So we are going to have to go to the exit and carry our, on our merry way. We'll attack the ship. He has got drones, but he's only got a beam. And they're both beam weapons, so they can't actually do any damage to us. Halber beam, we'll go across like... Like so. Two beam weapons is useless against a sh bar of shield. They have now got no shields. We're going to go across like that. So it's, it's a pretty solid start so far. What am I thinking that's going to happen? I'm thinking that uh, unless we get our shields up, uh, we're not going to be able to do a thing uh, to anyone in the, uh, well, beyond probably this point. So we do need to get our shields up, which I think we can possibly do about now. We're not going to go to the abandoned sector because that means Lanius, who will obviously come and borders and suck out all the oxygen we'd have to fight them head on and with Zoltans I do not and an NG, I do not fancy that challenge right so ship second bar of shields can't afford that so however if we get rid of that and that we don't need the mind control yet we've got two bars of shields so where do we want to go go down here first We'll attack the ship that has got two bars of shields, which is scary to say the least. So, we will attack the ship, we'll depower it. I don't want it in the halberd beam. There we go. Oh, it's got to go like that, has it? Oh, okay, I see. Flat gun. We are going to kick some ass here. They've got a bomb, which obviously can get through our shields. It's going to hurt us quite considerably. We've got flat gun and Alito, which means we're going to fire the missile on the pilot system. And then we're going to fire it on the shields. Because we're definitely going to hit. Hit the engines. Fire on the shields. Boom. And then we're going to fire again on shields. It's an alternate, alternative, uh, you know, attacking theory. 
if you will. Keep focusing on my shields. Boom. I'll just wait for the flak. The battery... It's only an iron bomb, so it's not too bad. Boom! That's the end of that ship. Did, did quite well to have the... To say if we only had the halberd beam, we'd have been struggling like hell there. Uh, we've got 47 scrap, so... Hmm. I don't need to upgrade that twice. But now at least we have two eyes of shield, which is uh, very, very handy indeed. We'll head to the dis distress beacon. Who knows, it might be able to give us some fuel or something. No, it's a, it's a tarp. Um, we can use the halberd beam for this. There we go. Right, so... That's where a sensor guy would have been handy there, actually. Might control them. We do need fuel, though. It's very worrying. It would help if I actually place this somewhere, wouldn't it? Let's go like that. Take down everything they own. Well, they've still got the laser up and running. But I still don't think... Unless they're firing unison, I don't think they're going to do anything. And I think this uh, the ship is doomed at this point. Which suits me to a T. A cup of tea, you might say. He's nearly dead! Say he, could be she. They are nearly dead. If you want a more correct term. Just wait for the halberd beam to come in. We're upgrading some areas. Boom! 17 scrap, nothing to be sniffed at. 25 scrap. I'll risk it. I've got come out draw Mark 1 out of it, so that's not too bad, it's pretty much the same value. And there is a star as well, so it's not the end of the world. We'll go to explore a few more beacons before we go there. Why didn't I just go to the star? I've got no fuel. Attack the ship. We have to. We can't go anywhere. They've only got one uh, thing move up as well anyway, so... I would like to attack them, but unfortunately I think I'm going to have to attack the pilot system. Who knows, I might be able to hit five systems, that's very nice indeed. They've got a teleporter ready in the wings. But who knows, if we can take down the uh, pilot system, then we'll, we will be laughing. No fuel. I've left ourselves in a bit of a sticky situation. Hubba Bean comes in. Causes some serious pain and anguish. Keep focusing in the same areas. For the obvious reason. I need the uh, pilot system down. They've actually boarded us with a mantis. Let's get some health off him. And then let's get out of there. Flood it out. Now he's, he's, he's gone back. That's very handy indeed. Halber Beam is nearly ready. I'm negle neglecting that duty right there. But there we go. It's the end of them. Return just in time. Get you back on shields. We've got one fuel from that. We're definitely going to head to the star. So. Do they have anything of use? They don't, fortunately. We're going to sell the combat drone. And we're going to buy all the fuel we can get. Because we are struggling a bit in that respect. Right. So now, what can I do? 35. I need 85 scrap to upgrade my weapons. And then I need reactor power to go with. Go with it. Right. Um, no, I'm going to go a bit further forward. Got a dis dis distress beacon and explore the beacons around the exit. Got another fight here. They've got a, a scary looking laser beam there, which is going to get attacked shortly. I'm going to do three damage here. I need to attack those weapons though. I swear, an extra weapon would have come in handy. Could attack the shields with one thing and have a beam the rest. Would have been very, very nice. However, it's not to be. So, just waiting for Halber Beat to come in. They didn't even get a shot away. That must have been the level 5 one. Which is absolutely crazy paving. Bomb comes in. Weapon comes back online. They must have engines aboard. Well, no matter. We will just take them down slowly but surely. Knock off the oxygen. They're trying to get away now, which is a bit of a pain. Uh, because obviously now we're going to have to go like this. Oh, that, that works a treat as well. I never even thought of that, but that, that should kill them, this next halber beam. Jump him imminent though. I'm hoping the beam comes in in time. That should do some damage. No! Damn. Right, Mr. Engit, you're on repairing duties. 
just as the beam was landing. I couldn't do anything about that, sadly. Maybe I should have, like, mind controlled the pilot, maybe? I don't know. Would have maybe helped. But I can't see them without a second uh, level of sensors, or someone manning the sensors, which I think is the least important at this moment in time until I get another weapon up, which then I might send uh, someone up there. I forget another crew member, especially. So that's a bit of a shame. A bit of a waste of fuel, really, in the end. We'll go down here and explore, see if there's any stars or anything. So who knows, we might be able to find something awesome. And your crew! Oh, thank you for a, a, a quest marker. Stars everywhere, quest markers up at the top. Can make one of the quests. Who knows, I might be able to make them all. Um, we'll go up here first, we might have some combat at the exit. We'll look for it. We'll head for the quest. Right, this is a, a ship where we're going to have to... Oh, they're trying to get away, are they? Right, so Mr. Engie, if you would like to go, be so kind as to go up there. Why did I not pause it? I'm going to power up the, the Leto and Flak. Here comes a laser. Ooh, I would it would help if I mind controlled... Who's that? Right, I'm going to mind control the pilot. We're going to fire a missile on the shields. We're going to flak the weapons. Big beast missile coming in. Fortunately it missed. We're going to missile again on the, on the shields. We're going to flak. we we'll miss, really. Flak the shields again. Uh, flak the weapons again. If we get a hit, maybe not. Another big beast missile comes in. Missed again. Great evasion. Head for the engines. Because they are actually trying to get away. Boom. Our oxygen is starting to go down. Leto is going to come in on... Sh no. It's going to come in on pilot system. Round time. Don't get away. You're on fire. No! That's terrible! <sighs> Waste of fuel again. Another quest. Can I get back to the exit if I go there? I don't think I can. I'm going to have to go straight to the exit. That's terrible news. Right, oxygen needs to come back on. And then we need to knock you off. Power the halber beam up. Uh, we'll do upgrade it once and a power. Get the Leto on. Shame that. Two stars. Can't do anything with them. We're moving to sector four. Bit underprepared. Lack of fuel. We are going to be stranded in a second. We'll head there though. Who knows, unless we find some combat. That's not what I wanted. However, we'll get another pa reactor power. Put you in mind control. Just in case we do... Uh... Nice one. We are going to experience some bad combat here. I can't buy any fuel. Really? Ten scrap per fuel. Right there, outraged! I, you know what? I don't care. Oh, I can't... Uh, that's terrible. I can't take down... I can't take... I can't take down... Uh, I can't mind control, sorry, their uh, pilot, neither. Come, Mr. Leto, do you think? Boom! That's very nice indeed. That allows us to tear through their ship. Thank you very much. They've got a halber beam as well. However, we should be okay. If the shield comes back online, a missile is ready to come in. On Jax. Cool name. Something out of Mortal Kombat. Halber beam again. You're not going to get away this time, Sonny Jim. And hopefully you're going to give us some of that fuel that you were offering for 10 scrap per fuel. It's a terrible deal. Terrible. John Terrible, you might say. Ah, uh, wasted that missile, but just on the off chance that it got away. We've got four fuel from that, so that that pleases me greatly. So we're going to charge. Yeah, I can go around. It's okay. I was thinking the nebulas might be a bit of a pain. 54 scrap. Uh, ooh. We'll avoid the conflict there. It's purely for the fact they've got three shields, which scares me somewhat. Um, Forget that. 
it's risky. But hopefully we'll get some more. Ah, oh, it's a waste. We'll go round to get to the store. Hopefully get some fuel picked up. This saddens me greatly. Yeah. Seems like the best idea, Flack. I don't think they can actually do... I think that fires two shots, so maybe they can. And they've got hacking as well, which scares me. Right, that's very nice. Flack can come in as well. Here comes hacking. Right, the pilot system, which is John Terrible. Oh, you're joking me. Flack again. Apologies there. Bit of an itch. Right. Here comes lasers. And an iron as well that's hit nothing, fortunately. Right. That's down. I'm going to mind control the pilot. We've got a fire in a weapons room, which is appalling. You just get over there for the time being, please. Then we're going to we're going to leto the pilot system as well. Get a breach or something in there. It's firing there, which is equally as good. Uh, the flak is going to come in on shields. No pilot, we will hit them. Why did I not open that door? Leto is then going to come in on the shield room. So it's definitely going to hit. Boom! Fires galore. Flak is going to come in on shield on weapons. It might hit multiple systems. Now they're trying to surrender, and that's a decent fuel surrender, so because of that, I'm going to take it. They all missed anyway. Put the oxygen flow back in. Getting back on weapon duty. Get in there, ready to jump. We're going to jump to uh, here, I think. We've got enough uh, power. Demand the surrender of their goods because we are awesome like that. My um, flak isn't is only going to be the thing that's going to be able to do anything here, and they have got a drone system. The weapons don't scare me. Could be a long fight this. We are good to my control them. We might control the pilot. Here comes the flak. We do do some damage, but they have got. An enviable thing of the drone system, so I'm going to probably target that. Boom! But it wasn't enough to kill it. Just keep flacking. Why not? You know what I'm going to do? Ooh, that's an opportunity. Boom! F fix that then, Sunny Jim. They're jumping away, I didn't realise. Leto on that, please. Oh, I got it open just in time. They got away, which is terrible. But uh, we will go to this star. Maybe pick up some fuel. Anything else I can sell? No. This is not. This has turned out to be a pretty terrible run. I'm not going to lie. Uh, pick up this fuel. Or we'll try and save up for some more reactor power, which will allow us to get the halber beam up as well. As the flak. That's going to be the best uh, situation for us, I think. They've got cloaking, which is terrible. Although, mm, it kind of scares me. It's got two beams. But with the two bars of shields, I can't get through with a helmet beam. I'm going to mind control. I'm going to mind control the pilot. I'm going to Leto pilot. Then we're going to flak the weapons, I think. Boom! Complete misses. And we took damage. Quite a lot of damage. Leo is going to come in on cloaking. Flak is going to come in on shields. And we didn't hit them, sadly. They killed one of the engines, which is very handy indeed. We're trying to fix the uh, pilot system, which is guaranteed to get hit at the minute. I just have to. I'm going to fire another flak. At the pilot. Thought I'd try and do some damage, but uh, they have 
Ooh, that is pretty damn awful damage right there. They've got no pilot at the minute, I think. Let's take that down. Boom. Let's flack the cloak in. Oh, you... You deals! We've got mind control ready for next time, though. They did actually hit us oxygen and mind control. We are in a pretty bad place right now. I'm not going to lie. This is turning out to be a pretty terrible run. I'm not going to lie. This is ter Oh, they've actually... Uh, we're going to jump away without question. I know, Alex. You'll be okay. I hope. Get that engine ready. Failure at the highest order. Of the highest order. We're going to fight again. I'm not paying no toll, Sonny Jim. We are very low. But they've only got iron weapons, so it's probably the best suited thing here. Because all the only thing that can get us is the weapons. So if I can focus on that and flack the shields. Boom, that's pretty nice. Keep on shields, keep on missiles, because that missile is the only thing that can really scare me. Boom, I didn't even knock it offline. You're joking. Well, at least we fixed some stuff up. You might want to get in there sometimes. That really hurts. We definitely need that bed bay up. This is crazy paving. How is that missile still online? Must have the best engines in the fleet. Um, this is very scary. Get the power in the med bay. We need to fix the oxygen as soon as possible. Boom! That is like the strongest, the strongest thing I've ever seen. Strongest missile launcher I've ever seen. We miss again. Here comes another big boost in missile. Let's hit our engines, and you're going to die unless you get out of there. You're all going to die unless you get out of there. Flack. Fat the engines. Right, we hit the engines. It's not really the best target in the world. Boom. We are hitting them slowly but surely. I am going to take this second to knock off the Leto and put the Halberd Beam on if I can afford it. My control come off. I'm relying heavily. I, would ought, I ought to do this, really. So his weapons stay in line. I'm going to wait for the halberd beam. This could be the only way we win. And this is if this missile hits! And that's the end of this! That's a terrible run! Absolutely terrible! I don't even know what happened. I'm sad to say that was a terrible run. But as always, regardless, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, why not press that like button? And if you'd like to see more, why not subscribe as well to keep up to date. And yeah, bit of a bit of a strange run. We started off quite well, and then all of a sudden it just went tits up, basically. So yeah, as always, hope you've enjoyed. And if you have, like I say, I've already said all that, haven't I? The like and subscribe and all that business. But yeah, hope you join us for the next one. So until then, I'll see you then. Bye bye.